this lecture we have seen an introduction to our body so now in this lecture we are going to see the another temperature measurement instrument that is known as thermocouple as its name itself implies thermocouple thermo means that is related with heat and couple means some two things must be attached to that so in case of thermocouple a two metal junction is responsible for the measurement of heat so how this works and how the measurement of temperature happens with the help of metal we can see this in previous lecture of rtd we have seen that whenever a metal is heated the molecules inside the metal start to bubble so we will consider that pattern first suppose this is a metal bar and in this metal bar there are number of molecules and suppose in that atoms there are number of electrons are there. so these are the electrons and if at this end at this end if you are providing a heat if you are providing a heat then this electrons started to move towards a cold and cold junction so they will start to move here means the proportion of electrons will become less here. the proportion of electron will become less here and it will gather here it will gather here and due to this as we see the number of electrons they are going from this end to the other end so due to that on this end it will become positively charged on this end it will become positively charged and vice versa on the other end it will become negatively charged because of the collection of electrons here so this is the principle how the potential difference happens between the metal when it is provided so this thing is known as voltage which is pd potential difference so on this principle on the same principle thermocouple works a scientist named thomas seebach a german physicist he found this effect that if we provide heat to a metal the electric current means the electric voltage generated by it so how that works in thermocouple two metals are attached to each other and two junctions are formed this is junction 1 this is junction 2 So that is responsible to 
provide a potential difference between that junction hot junction and cold junction so depending on that voltage depending on this voltage form the thermocouple is responsible to measure the temperature done. how a table will be formed and depending on that temperature depending on this temperature the thermocouple is directly proportional to the voltage provided means how much amount of temperature is given to the hot junction that much amount of voltage we will get that much amount of potential difference we will get so this is the basic principle of thermocouple and how it function thank you so much keep watching and subscribe thank you